Hey guys, time for another on the road video. Not using the mic right now because it's easier. <laughs> I might use it later on because uh, I'm gonna shoot some actual beer reviews up here. But we, you guys like the little random forest footage I shot in a beer review. So today, uh, some friends and I went to Hamabaka, which is where we're at right now. I'll show you guys. Uh, it's a big forest as well, not as big as Rotsko, the other one, but there is this huge camping ground where we're gonna go camping with shelters and whatnot. And I think there's some sheep and stuff too. So we're gonna be a few guys. We're probably, I don't know if we're gonna trek around, but I thought I'd bring my camera to shoot some on the road stuff for you guys, because uh, it is really nice up here. It was supposed to rain and thunder. Well, it's 25 degrees and sunny, so that's awesome. And I brought some beer to drink and uh, talk about in the vlog. So yeah, it's time to kick ass. The first beer, guys, is this one from France, Darkwater Stout de Suis. It's a session black IPA. It's only on, what was it, 3.4% alcohol, made with, uh, it doesn't say. But this one was also sent from Gerard and Arnaud in France. So thanks a ton to guys for this one. Got it poured as well. Brought my CBC tasting glasses. They're easy to bring to the forest. Oh, this smells pretty nice. Lemon, limey, grassy, citrusy. Light malt. This is very refreshing. Uh, I think I'll do a thumbs up because I have a few craft beers to drink and talk about. But this is a thumb up for sure. Really nice sessionable stuff. Very limey and lemony and grassy. Some, a little bit of grapefruit and citrus. Malt tones are very light, but yeah, dark water, stout sweef, disweef, check it out if you can. Easy going stuff. Okay guys, we're still waiting for the others to show up. They should be here in like 45 minutes. So I was like, let's have another beer. I, I don't know if you can see the label for the sun, but this is one that I got from Petros in Greece at CBC. This is Lura handcrafted gold nail, 5.8%. This is one of the first kind of crafty craft beers in um, in uh, Greece. It's made with, it says, Greek barley carefully selected hops and the highest quality yeast without any preservatives or additives. But this is the golden ale Lyra. It's very nice looking. It looks like an IPA almost. Lyra, Lyra golden ale from Greece. Let's check it out. Hmm. It smells like classic British golden ale. It's very sweet, malty and grainy. Honey-esque. I think we're gonna go to the sheep and drink it there. <laughs> hey Chris. Hey. Yeah. Earthy resiny. Let's try it. It's okay. Very sessionable. Classic golden ale kind of thang thang. A little bit of sweet malt, bready malt, biscuity bready malt. Kind of like classic English hop flavor. Like it's got some f uh, nettles and uh, like green, like hedgerow, or you know, like grassy, woodsy flavors with some citrus, pepper, black pepper. It's pretty okay. Not great, but it's also a thumb up like the other one. But look at that sheepies. But I put up my tent. So, ready for a weekend of camping with craft beer and chill time. So, cheers, guys, and see you later. Still not recording any fun shenanigans or anything here. We haven't been out trekking or anything yet because we're still waiting for the others. One is on his way by car and the other is walking and got lost in the forest because you have to walk like three and a half kilometers to get to the campgrounds here. So Chris and I was like, hey, let's crack another beer. So this one, guys, is also from France, just like this one, the Black IPA. I said I didn't know the hops, but they actually said it right here on the side. Uh, mosaic and Centennial, and this uh, gold nail is from Crete, and it says it's a microbrewery, so I guess it's not like regional, as I said at first. But this is Humulupusien Beer de Circonstance by La Grivite, something like that, <laughs> that I also got from uh, Along and uh, Gerard in France. So thanks a ton to both you guys and Petros for the beers uh, that we're semi reviewing in this. Uh, on the road video. So this is a Saison on 4.1% and that's about all the info and Gerard said it's like a beer for just the occasion is the beer kind of uh, drink it in the moment something like that and it's probably much darker on camera right now but out in the sun it is very hazy golden it looks really nice and light 
Oh, that smells pretty nice. Very peppery and grainy. Let's film me drinking it instead of just a glass. Peppery, sweet, malty, grassy. Pretty much smells like classic Saison. He said he would call it a pale ale, but I googled it. And it said it was a Saison, and it smells more like a Saison than a pale ale for sure. Almost like a coriander spice. Let's try it. Cheers. That is uber refreshing. This might be one of the best beers I've had from France so far. That is actually a really nice, light, easygoing Saison. With a kick of citrusy, lemony hops. A pepper, grainy, almost a yogurty feel. Sweet malt. I mean, it's not mind-blowing, but it's, been, it's pretty good. I mean, the dark water was nice too, but uh, it was very light. But it was also a session, 3.4% beer, but... Oh, well, this isn't very strong either. This is 4.1%. But, yeah, this is pretty good. One and a half thumb up. I can't show the other half, but let's do it like that. I actually like this. Look who I found! The Sultan of Simcoe's. Drinking. Motherfucker. Shitty beer. Yeah. And oh. this guy. The sweatiest motherfucker north of the Limfjord. Yeah, because you had to walk a lot. Limfjord. And Casper. <laughs> so almost all the guys are here now. Except We're Pina. getting drunk. And we're getting drunk. <laughs> don't play that too loud, because I don't want copyright strikes. <laughs> oh. We don't but I cracked another beer, another French beer. This is Lunette, Sirachi Ace, Vitbion, 4.9%. Really cool label by Play Lune. Passerie <laughs> Play Lune, something like that. Again, also from Girard and Along in France. Thanks a ton, dudes, for this one. Um, Sorry that I'm not, you know, recording proper reviews of some of these beers, but I get so much beer at the moment in the mail that some of it has to be used for stuff like this, because <laughs> then I'd have to post like two videos a day and that's way too much, so... Nah, it's... <laughs> it's an okay bit beer. It's actually not as good as some of the other French beers so far. It's very peppery and chalky and bitter. Let's get the and fire I'm... going! Let's get the fire going! Uh, not really vit beer like. It's almost like more like a bitter, chalky, peppery pale ale. <laughs> oh, mosquitoes. Hopefully the beer will keep them away. I don't know, but it's okay. I'll give it a thumbs to the side. I'm not a big fan of this one. Oh uh, no, I think we got the rain clouds going out there. Hopefully we won't get rain. That would suck. So, mm. just a half a thumb up for this one. But hopefully we'll have some fire going soon. And some cooking over the fire. We'll see you guys later with some more vlogging or on the road videoing in Hamapaga. Cheers! By the way, if you haven't done it already, check out the Master Puppets Kickstarter campaign. You get keychains, coasters, t shirts, and even star in the fucking video. So please do that. Something about that, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, we just had some awesome food. And now I crack the Brasilia. Bourisen, Boris Guten of Imperial Stout, Ryan Imperial Stout from uh, France, 10.5%. And some guy is biking up there <laughs> uh, on a motorcycle. Nicholas, what do you think of the Imperial Stout? I haven't tried it yet. It's quite soft, smooth, mm, nice. Very puffy. Boris Guten of. Again, thanks to Gerard and Alain for this one. You guys rule. Oh, Tastes good though. Gerard and Alain from France. Uh, like feels like Let's one. try yeah. it. Let's try it, guys. Six. Very oaty on the aroma. And licorice. Get tired, Nick. Come get tired, Nick. Oh, that French can tell, bro. Very much a classic British imperial style with oats. Do you want to try it? No, this is Casper, by the way. This is the guy who's guilty of making the awesome TMO logo. Do you want to try the beer? Yeah. He does some great artwork. Uh, he he's, <laughs> works with like doing uh, artwork and whatnot. He's, you've been doing artwork for some Danish like cartoon, right? Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> true. Called, um, the, Ip the dog. Yeah. <laughs> you want to make it? They won't see it. it. Will, uh, but uh, it will uh, come yeah, to other countries yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe oh, it will. So. Yeah, like like well, he's been doing that, so. Of course, he's got to make, you know, a logo when he can like do it. But cheers to Casper. What do you think of the beer, by the way? Nice. So, yeah, I think it's very nice. It's a very traditional imperial salad, lots of oats, lots of sweet chocolate, and roasted oats and coffee. This is one of the better beers I've had from France. So, Girard and Alain, that's just really good stuff. Last one and a half thumb up. I can't do the other half. It's like, this, this. That's really good. What are you guys playing? What is the card game? 
Uh, it's called the good, the bad, and the ugly. And named I'm after the big motherfucker. Yeah, because you're the ugly. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's named after the movie starring what's it called? Uh, um, John Hitler. Uh, no. No. Uh, what's John, it called? No, not John Wayne. Uh, Feel what's... lucky, punk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy. What's the good, the bad, and the ugly? Yeah, 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 of course. That, no. yeah. It's, it's a the good, the bad, and the ugly. Well, yeah. It's a good movie. It's quite a good beer. Yeah, yeah. Nicholas is trying it too. The book is good enough from France. I am as well, but I haven't. So you've got beautiful ladies. Oh, I'm I'm gonna do a macro, a little beer you thing. Yeah, <laughs> the, uh, the aroma is pretty uh, fucked up, but mackerel, <laughs> mackerel beer review thing. Your mom's a mackerel. Uh, it's tasty. All right, I'm okay. gonna do a card trick for YouTube. Okay, card trick for YouTube. All right, YouTube, think about a card. Think about a card. Don't think about the Ace of Spades. That's too obvious. All right, Ace of Spades. Let's see. I'm going to ask the help of Peter. Peter, you just say stop whenever. Stop. That card. All right, YouTube is your card a king? Yes! Whoa, it works! How that cool. means if you see this, you got a drink. <laughs> what a card trick. <laughs> YouTube, I got a trick for you. <laughs> okay, everyone's got tricks. Choose a cigarette. Whatever you want. All right. <laughs> is this a cigarette? Yeah. Damn! You got a drink, <laughs> fucking YouTube. <laughs> Motherfucker. Uh, on sheep hunting. <laughs> sheep hunting. No. Ah. <laughs> Um, the Sultan of Simcoe and I just decided to walk a little and uh, well this is I guess this is the what is this called it's called hill I don't know what you call that in English the heath the meadow oh um, maybe meadow I'm not sure <laughs> that didn't sound very nice we locate the fucking oh, sheep I ready to pretend you're a wolf and hunt them do you, th do you think you can pet them? Yeah. Because I think they're tame. Of course. Hey, sheepies. Maybe they're going to eat our shoes and shit. He's looking at us. Yeah, he's like, what you guys doing, fool? Get you, motherfucker. Hello, sheep. We found the sheep. Yes, I saw. What they do here with the sheep is that they get them out and graze in the summer so that they can... <laughs> I need a picture. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, guys. Be right back. Hello, I think that's actually a lamb. Yeah, join the others. <laughs> Leslie, you look like a sheep shepherd. Or sheep sheep shepherd. You look like a shepherd. <laughs> Yo, hey bro, he's just he's just following me. Come here. Yeah, you're a nice fellow. You know we walk around in sheep shit and sheep pee. I love animals. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. He's so cute. Oh, this is she Shri, she she right. Hey, where you going, motherfucker? They're just chilling. Uh, right now we are drinking Peshala Otravine 2016. Do you like this one, Peter? Yes, it's Peter really good. Peter, our planet finally showed up. <laughs> the other part of Pete and Pete. Oh yeah. <laughs> what do you think of sweet. this? Sweet. Fuck oh. you. Yeah. What do you think of it, Pete? At first, I, I, at first I thought it was like barrel aged, but it's not. No, but it almost tastes like it yeah, is. Yeah, it's pretty it's really good. good. Peter, well, film me. <laughs> film, film me. <laughs> the Sultan of Simcoe wants to be on camera. Hello, my name and is Lasse. And, 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 and this is a sausage gin. <laughs> That's a It's a very fire. extraordinary gin. You only put sausage in. So, and, and gin if you and tonic. your hands away from my sausage. <laughs> and it's not, even a, it's not only a sausage, it's a cheese sausage. Yeah. I would recommend anyone... It's a sausage filled with cheese. I would it's recommend anyone in the States to try this. Because this is... Try and put a gooey cheese delicious. sausage in your gin. And it doesn't look very awkward when you drink it. <laughs> sausage.